I am Pam Clift. I am the business leader here at Champion Enterprises. And we're going to turn it over right away to our first chef, and that is Jenny Cheatham. And she is our um, star director, Jenny Cheatham. Uh, she's been with us in Tupperware uh, for um, how many years? <laughs> eight years. I was right. I was going to guess eight years. Eight years. And um, so if you're here with us this evening, I want to thank you for being with us. Um, uh, we are here with Cooking with Tupperware, uh, Champion Enterprises, and I want to tell you, we've been with Tupperware, uh, my husband and I, for 39 years, and uh, we first started in Tupperware. I was um, a young mom and decided that I wanted to do Tupperware uh, to pull in a little extra money, and uh, here we are today, 39 years later. And one of the things that's really cool about the business is the flexibility and working around Jimmy's career as a police officer at first, and now he's fully retired in full-time Tupperware. And so this evening, he's running our camera for us and uh, fully retired from the police department. He was military and getting ready to turn around and have our Veterans Day just around the corner for him as this evening. Uh, we are going to celebrate with my cooking uh, 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 recipe with a red, white, and blue cake tonight. And Jenny's gonna make a pumpkin pistachio, pistachio <laughs> a Thanksgiving dessert that you can make, a pistachio. Uh, and I believe that Amy is gonna make another fun uh, dessert that you can make for Thanksgiving uh, this year. And so thank you for being with us this evening. And we've got some fun trivia questions. We're gonna give away some fun things this evening. We'd love to give things away. So I hope you're here with us and can uh, be able to participate. If you're a guest with this, go ahead and put in the chat, I'm a guest with, um, and who you're a guest here with. And if you are a, um, if you are not a guest, but you are a host, put in the chat that you're a host and who you're a host here with us this evening and who you're a host with. So we can go ahead and honor you as a host. Uh, if you're a guest, you'll go in our guest drawing this evening. And if you're a host, you're gonna go in our host drawing this evening which is just a little bit nicer of a gift that we're going to give away in our grand prize at the end of the evening. Um, however, our prizes all night long uh, are just random prizes that we do, uh, just door prizes. Although we do trivia, we don't do prizes in our trivia. We just do random prizes. Every time you hear me do a trivia question, you know, we're just going to do another random door prize right after trivia. So thank you for being with us this evening. Let's turn it right over to Jenny Cheetah. Thank you. Hey, everybody. So um, I am all about simple and quick and easy and things that you can do at home. And I'll tell you what a lot of that is, is when my kids were growing up and we had to do holiday dinners, I worked full time and I worked full time at a nursing home. So I work six to two, but especially during holiday seasons, I picked up a lot of extra shifts because that's how I got more money for the holidays was overtime. So a lot of times that six in the morning to two in the afternoon shift turned into two in the morning to two in the afternoon. And then I'd get home and that turned into going to somebody's basketball game and staying up late and then getting back up at one o'clock in the morning to go in at two. So when it came time to make desserts and fun things to go to school for the kids, for the teachers and stuff, the simpler, the better, as far as I was concerned. This pistachio pie is kind of amazing. So we're going to start. It's really simple. This is our whip and mix. And this thing is so cool because it uses no electricity. Um, and what you do is we've got a eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. And it starts out with a box of instant pistachio pudding. Do not put the paper in the pistachio pudding. Not necessary. Okay, this has two little teeth on the back. And you just slide it right into the handle right there. That's how you know you've got it in right. And this has two speeds. So we're going to start on the first speed. And when you do the first speed, it's over here and it's a little hard to turn, okay? And that's how you know you've got it on the first speed. And there's a way to hold it right here so that you can hang on to it real tight. And you just start turning it, you mix it. And this is great for the kids to help you with it, right? Gives them something to do, it's good exercise. And you just turn it and turn it, turn it. Now, once it starts to get mixed and you can feel it mixing, okay? 
you can turn it and you put it on this second speed. Now you would think that the second speed would be harder, but it's not. When you turn it on that second speed, it moves easier, it moves faster, and it just starts to mix everything together. Really, really simple. And I love this whip and mix. Um, it's one of our newer products, actually. We only got it, I don't know, about a year ago, maybe. And it's so easy to use, so much fun. It's got this funnel right here if you need to add liquid. And it's very simple to just now, I need to add, um, this also takes marshmallows and it takes a can of crushed pineapple. Now this is pretty cool because look at that, that's all mixed together. I'm going to put this because there's so much more to add. I'm gonna put it in one of our mixing bowls. And this is one of the ones that comes in the hostess set that Pam's gonna tell you about later. So if you're a host with us, that's a really cool bowl set over there. You can get absolutely free. So we're gonna take that and put it in here. I'm going to move this out of my way so we have room. Let's put that in the sink over there. Now, one of the other things that I love is our can opener. If you don't have our can opener, I use this every week. I use it every day, but I always use it on the show if I can. So you lay this can opener, you open it up, and you just put it flat on the top of the can and then you close it. And when you have it on right, you can pick your can up, right? And you just turn it like this. Very simple, very easy. There's another fun way to do it where you can uh, spin the can opener and the thing turns. Now you can hear it click and you can't probably hear it on there, but you can hear it click whenever you've turned it all the way. Um, sometimes because I'm who I am, I count it. It usually takes 13 turns to open the can. You can get one and check that out for yourself if you want to. Then you open it back up, okay? And you put this little, it's like a bird beak on the edge of the can and you close it back up and you just pull it right off, okay? No sharp edges. So again, if you're working with the kids or if you're gonna throw it away in the trash, which of course you are, right? And the kids reach in the trash or a pet, nobody's gonna get cut if they reach in there and cut it. It's not gonna fall down inside the can and get anything nasty down inside your food because that happens too. Now, you add this into this with the juice, okay? You don't even have to drain it. And then we're gonna mix this up together, okay? So far, so easy, right? We're gonna mix that all together, all right? And I'm not sure it gets any harder than this because now we're gonna add a couple marshmallows and let's have a cool whip. So this is like the easiest dessert ever. You're gonna put it in the refrigerator and you're just gonna let it set for a couple hours. Then you're gonna have an amazing pistachio pie. It's just pistachio pudding. And this was sugar-free pudding, sugar-free cool whip. I'm gonna put it in a already prepared graham cracker crust. So again, we're talking easy, right? And when it's all over and it starts to set, um, you can put, like you can pipe Cool Whip on the top to make it pretty. You can make your own whipped cream, put it up there, put maybe some cherries on top. So it's very pretty, it's very practical. It's very holiday looking. It's green and red whenever you put the cherries on there. Um, I am going to show you really quick how to let that set for a minute before we put it in the pie crust. I'm gonna take our chop and prep. This is something you have to have too. If your kitchen does not have one of these, you're really missing out. You're gonna take some pistachios and you wanna get pistachios that are already shelled. Thank you. And just throw some in here. I don't know if you've ever tried to chop nuts at home with a knife. It's not fun. These are our counter steaks. They're so pretty on the counter. And there's a whole bunch of them here with all kinds of things in them. Everything from salt and pepper to about nine different kinds of nuts over there on the thing. They look great with candy in them, except it's really tempting to eat the candy. They're wild. 
four, okay? But maybe 10 times. <laughs> and they're really cute to decorate with, right? This is like the perfect teacher, doctor, hairdresser. You're my best friend gift, right? And this is, um, this is a hot chocolate bonanza right here. This is hot chocolate mix, peppermints, and uh, marshmallows right here. And it's just so cute and so easy. Okay, so we crush these pistachios right here. We're going to take our pistachio mix, put it in the pie shell like this. And this makes enough for two pies. Like I said, this is going to be sugar-free. Now, you can get two pie shells. You can also just use this. I'm not big on pie, okay? So you can make like the little, um, just pudding dishes and put whipped cream on top of that. My kids like that better than they did pie. So we're gonna do that with some of that. And then we're just gonna take the pistachios, sprinkle them on top. Okay, we're gonna put the seal back on this, put it in the refrigerator, wait about an hour, and see if Jim wants a piece of pie. Okay, so there you go. Gonna put that in the fridge and let Pam tell you about, maybe one of the hostess gets her ask a trivia question. We got cool trivia questions, you guys. Okay, our first trivia question. How many, <laughs> about how many pumpkin pies are consumed every Thanksgiving? Oh my goodness, how many pumpkin pies like in the United States? In the United States? Yeah. All right, how many pumpkin pies in the United States are consumed every Thanksgiving? Hmm, that would be a lot of pumpkin pies. <laughs> I could take care of about mm, one myself. <laughs> All right, thinking about Thanksgiving, how many of you would like to have, oh, I don't know, this gorgeous baking set for the holiday season, having a $500 party and two datings from your Tupperware party would get you this entire baking set. Look at this great big bowl. I love that big one on the bottom. I will tell you, I love big bowls and I cannot lie. <laughs> I will tell you, Shirley, you probably love big bowls too. If I'm gonna make a big batch of cookies, I don't like to have my flour and everything coming out of my bowl. I wanna have a great big bowl so I can really scoop in there and I can really go ahead and make sure that everything stays inside my bowl. And so if I'm making a lot of cookie batter, if I'm making a lot of fruit salad, if I'm making a lot a great big toss salad, I like a big bowl. Even if I'm making caramel corn, or if I'm just making popcorn and I'm gonna dump the popcorn in the bowl, I want a big bowl. And so I love a great big bowl. So this biggest bowl on the bottom is over 40 cups. And then we have the bowl next one that is like 26 cups. And we have this one that's like 16 cups. And so, whoa, I'm dropping things. That's okay, it's Tupperware. <laughs> Why not show if you really care and give the gift to Tupperware because we can pick it up and reuse it. Why not pick it up and use it instead of mop it up and lose it, right? And that's what happens with Tupperware. When you have our beautiful seal with Tupperware, you're gonna pick it up and use it again. You're not gonna mop it up and lose it. I love also the fact that with Tupperware, you have a lifetime guarantee with all of our product. If it ever cracks, splits, pills, chips, or breaks, you're gonna get it replaced for free. And our warranty system has been on hold for a few months and it's coming back to you real soon. So get excited about the fact that Yes, we've been on hold only because we've been revamping and rewriting our, our, our uh, computer programming system because we've gone completely um, internet and, and everything's gone completely with the uh, new uh, system. And so it's all been rewritten and it's ready to go real, real soon. And so get excited about that. I'm so happy that it's ready to go very, very, very soon. Um, so this entire system is exciting because you have all of these parts and pieces that go to this. The scooper has three different shapes to the ball. And so you have the great big one. So that's a really big meatball or a really big cookie and monster cookies, or you have the medium and then you have the small. 
the big spatula that's perfect for going ahead and taking it apart and using for uh, frosting a cake or cutting the brownies. And then you have the big spatula part on it. Now, if you have a spatula that's small, getting smaller and smaller and smaller, if you ever have that spatula that's like getting smaller and smaller, and you're like, where's it going? <laughs> You're eating it. No, that's not good. Um, and then we have this top bowl. Now this top bowl has a flat seal, but it also has um, this top piece that can be used and it has this little center part. This is called a kitchen maid and it is designed to um, use all different uh, parts that go on top of it. You can use for um, a zester and you can use for an, uh, an egg separator and you can also use for um, a lemon a lime squeezer. And so you can do all kinds of extra parts and pieces on here. And it has um, a, um, a a really cool strainer on there. So if you're making something and you want to catch the extra juices, you're going to be able to do that. Or if you want to strain the juices off of something, you're going to do that, like a fruit salad. You never want your fruit salad to sit in its excess moisture because that's not going to keep that fruit salad really fresh for you. You want to drain that moisture off of the fruit salad as it's um, as it's leaking excess moisture. However, keep that because that's really good in your next smoothie. So put that in an ice cube tray and freeze that. And it's delicious because it's going to have all kinds of nutrition in it. And it's really, really good in um, a smoothie. Um, so you're going to love this set. And for $500 in sales and two datings, uh, the host can get that for free. Now, the host also gets to get one of our thank you gifts. Now, she can get the measuring cups and measuring spoons, or she can get the large, uh, the medium, the small decibel. Actually, it's a medium decibel. There are smaller ones. Or she can get the four refrigerator bowls. And I took two of those refrigerator bowls, actually, took one of them. You can put M&Ms in there. They're, I want to just you see how easy it is to see through them. Now, <laughs> if you're on a diet, M&Ms are not the thing to put in here because you can see through them, all right? You want to put things in here like celery and carrots so you can see to eat them or remember to eat them. You want to put things in here that you uh, are wanting to eat. But if you want to give it as a gift, it's really nice to put M&Ms in there and give it as a little gift and uh, to re remind your uh, friends that they are very special to you as a little gift to put a little bow on it. Now, these are uh, two of our, one of my favorite containers in my refrigerator is my Fridge Smarts. And a few of the small ones are really handy for the berries, the strawberries, the blueberries, the blackberries, or the herbs, um, because they will make those herbs, the blueberries, um, all of that thing last two to three times longer. And it really is good on the budget when those things will last longer for you. Even um, when you're buying the green onions and everything, I like to go ahead and chop them and have them ready to go. Um, and even my, my red onions and stuff like that, after I've used part of it and put it away some of it, I like to put it away in a place where I know I can grab and go. Um, it's very nice to have that ready to chop, ready to go for my omelet the next day or a cheeseburger, whatever. Um, it's nice to have. Now the dating gift, these are not thank you gifts, these are dating gifts. Everybody that dates a party and says, I'm going to do it, uh, is going to get a dating gift when you had your, hold your party. A thank you gift is when you're submitting your party as well. And you get to choose one, two, three, or four. You get four different choices. And then holding gift, when the party is submitted with $500 in sales and two datings, you get to choose one or two. Or if you prefer to go shopping and spend your money the way you choose, you can take a shopping spree and choose any $75 value uh, at, that you'd like at that $500 level and two datings. However, these are valued higher than $75 value. So if you'd like to take the shopping spree, the, the hostess gift special, they are uh, valued a little higher. Then this week, if you're closing your party uh, before Wednesday night at midnight, you also get an impression bowl set, which is really nice too, as an extra bonus um, for all of our hostesses this week. Extra, extra, all right? Tempor's always giving extras to our hostesses. And so that is an extra bonus this week before Wednesday at midnight. Um, so do look at that and talk to your Tupperware lady because she will tell you too what might be going on next week as well uh, because there's always bonuses going on for our hostesses as well. This special is truly a bonus that I love. Uh, it's a four-piece luncheon plate, four, uh, four cereal bowls, a big salad bowl set, and uh, two serving bowls. And I love 
uh, the serving bowl. Uh, this one is a spoon and the other one is a ladle that comes with it, four tumblers and a pitcher for $500 in sales and two datings. Now, if you have a $1,000 party and two datings, <laughs> you get it all. And so, yeah, you don't have to have four datings, only two, and you would get all of it. However, four datings is great. <laughs> Go for four, right? And so it's so much fun. Now, do we have a winner on our how many pumpkin pies? We do. Um, Seriously, somebody knew that? I think she Googled it. Ah, but no, I, no kidding. <laughs> Google is my friend. There you go. But Lori Louise guessed first. Great <laughs> job, Lori Louise. All right. Yes, yeah. good to go. Now let's take on uh, how many guests do we have on? We're just going to have a random uh, somebody win a door prize right now. So, how many guests, Jessica, do we have on? 43. Wow, yay. And how many hosts do we have on? Mm, that includes the hosts um, 13. Let's go. You have eight. Okay. All right. So let's find out a random number between one and 43. Uh, Alexa, give me a random number between one and 43. 40. So who's number 40 on our list? It's Ellie with um, Emily Mefford. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Um, I want to tell you the reason why we don't have our um, person that guessed our first first guest on our 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 uh, trivia is because uh, because of the crazy way that Facebook works, it doesn't always show us who it shows you as the first person to say, give the first answer. So it's random, and um, you guys know how Facebook algorithms work. And so who it's showing you it might show Jenny somebody else, it might show me somebody else, and, and we don't want to upset people. So we just do a random a draw, but it is fun to see who can give us the first answer. And um, But, you know, there might be two or three people that give us the answer. So thank you and congratulations. That is fun. All right. And so let's go ahead and move it on over to Amy. Amy is going to cook for us our next chef. And uh, we love these fun recipes. And don't you love this cute Christmas gift? We want to show you one more Christmas gift before we go over to Amy. And that is taking, oh, this is actually a bowl set that you can get all of our hostesses this week uh, for having their Tupperware party with $350 in sales or more with two datings. Get this as an extra bonus this week when you're closed by Wednesday night at midnight. And I love these impression bowls. You're always going to make a great impression on you and the family when you have this beautiful set of bowls. Now, what's nice about this impression bowl set is they completely condense down inside of each other. And you can actually put this seal on with all the bowls and seals down inside of there. That's crazy. All right. And so beautiful impression bowl set. And they wrap so pretty as a gift. So if you've got a shower to go to, or if you want to take it into your mom or your mother-in-law or your sister or your sister-in-law, they're so pretty. And that is shrink wrap. So you can buy shrink wrap at your local Hobby Lobby or wherever and a pretty bow on top. Now, if you want to give it as a huge impression, you can stuff it with money. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or you can stuff it with good homemade cookies and fudges and candies and popcorns and caramel corns and all kinds of fun things like that. And it's always a really fun impression as well. All right. Who's next? So let's take it over to Amy Gardner, three-star director. Thank you, Amy. Hi, everybody. So I am really excited to be here um, with you all. I am um, I am making one of my, well, I actually, I kind of made this recipe up. <laughs> so I, for those of you who don't know me, I have been selling Tupperware for um, eight years as well. And I absolutely love it. And I started because I have kids at home and I wanted to stay at home with my kiddos and be able to be here when they get off the bus and be able to do things with them at school. Um, and so I absolutely love this um, because Tupperware allows me to do these things. Um, but I am making um, a cookie. So I also follow Weight Watchers. And um, so Weight Watchers has this recipe uh, for biscuits and it's crazy easy. It's two ingredients. It's yogurt, um, uh, well, non-fat Greek yogurt and self-rising flour right? And so that that's it. Super, super easy. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to change this up a little bit. And so I, I did, I took out the yogurt and I added pumpkin and, um, I also added something else. So, um, chocolate chips, uh, because I wanted to sweeten it up a little bit. Right. So this is a healthy version of a 
cookie for you guys. And I am going to be using our silicone um, baking sheet. And this one has a little rim on it. Um, I love, love, love this baking sheet. I love all of our silicone forms. We actually have four different forms. So we have this one, which I'm going to show you about tonight or show you guys tonight. Uh, we also have a rectangle form uh, and a muffin form um, and um, some small round forms as well. Now, these are great because they're very flexible. So I usually roll this up and I put it in my, uh, like my old paper towel rolls, you know, so it's, I know exactly where it is at all times and um, we take it out and it just, it flattens right out. All right, and now if you are putting cookies on this, I am putting it on an actual baking sheet, but you don't have to spray this and don't don't spray them, all right, because uh, it, it doesn't need spray, not at all. And it's easy cleaning, so it actually goes into the dishwasher for easy cleaning. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of my new favorite things too, which is our whip and mix. So there are two different gears on here and it comes apart easy for cleaning, but I'm gonna show you a little tip on how I clean this um, at the very end, all right? And um, so uh, the very first thing that you wanna put in here is the pumpkin. And I am gonna use the can opener as well. Can opener is a must have. So my, you can see, I actually, it's a flat, right? Now you can actually use the can opener too on cans that have the pull tab on them. Um, and I will never forget, I believe it was two years ago, I was making caramels and I made my, it's my grandpa's recipe and uh, I, I thought I lost it and which would have been bad because my grandpa actually passed away of, um, quite a, well, it's been quite a few years now, but um, it's his caramel recipe. And it is like the best caramel recipe ever. And I found it. And so I make it every year now. But um, it's really easy. It uses sweet and condensed milk. And the sweet and condensed milk had a pull tab on it. I think it's sweet condensed milk. I always get the, those two mixed up. Sweet and condensed and evaporated milk. It might be evaporated. I can't remember. I think it's sweet condensed. But anyway. Um, so it had a pull tab and I'm like, I'm gonna just hurry up and use the pull tab. And you know what? As soon as I used that pull tab, I cut my finger. I said, ow, my husband's like, what is the matter? I'm like, um, I just totally, I cut my finger. And he goes, how did you do that? And I said, I was opening this can and he's like, so why didn't you use the can opener? I'm like, I don't know. So learn from me, don't do that. And um, you get our can opener because it is uh, family friendly, not just for kiddos, but for us too, obviously, because I, um, yeah, um, need to use it too, because I obviously cut myself. I don't. <laughs> but anyway, so the first thing that we're going to put down in here is one cup of um, pumpkin. And it's not pumpkin pie, all right? It is just regular old pumpkin. So um, so that is the very first thing that we're putting there. And I love this spatula. So this spatula is also heat resistant um, and but it does not come apart. All right, so I have the pumpkin in there and I'm gonna use pumpkin pie spice. All right, so um, it actually is gonna have four ingredients rather than just the two. All right, so I don't measure it, I just sprinkle it in. All right, so, and then we're going to put on top of it one cup of self-rising flour. I already measured out, but I like to store my um, my dry ingredients in our modular mates because it keeps them extra fresh um, longer. Uh, and you don't have to just store like your flours and your sugars, but um, it is good for those. Um, but you can also store in there your chips and your crackers, all right? And so this is our clear, one of our clearly elegant bowls. Love these. They are plastic. It is not a glass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. <laughs> my daughter's sneaking down here. Don't know what for, but anyway. So she is my oldest of my three and she is 13 years old, which is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Start it on the one, and then I'm going to turn it to the two. 
just because it's so much easier. So um, my kiddos love to be in the kitchen with me. I love having them in the kitchen with me. And um, because um, I learned, well, I, I looked into, you know, having them eat and they, they're more likely to eat something if they help you in the kitchen prepare that something. So ever since I read that, I have had them help me in the kitchen making different things. All right, so I, look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Doesn't that look great? All right, so we have the pumpkin and we have the flour and we have the spices and now we're gonna mix in the chocolate chip. And um, normally I wouldn't really measure out my chocolate chips, but because I am trying to do this Weight Watcher thing, the correct way I measured out one quarter of chocolate chips, um, quarter of a cup, and maybe an extra few. Okay, that's okay. Because there's like in in between in that cup, there's some air holes, right? So in those air holes, we gotta we gotta mount it up just a little, right? I that's what I claim to do. All right, so it is all nice and mixed. And if you wanted to get some of that extra off, you know, just like how you do with the beaters, pull it up a little bit and um, whip it up. But if I were to put this in something else to get them actually clean, you can put, take this out, put them back in and then beat, beat them up some more. All right, I'm gonna set it aside for right now. And I'm also going to use something that Pam was talking to you about and this scoop. This is my favorite scoop, and this is actually the smallest one. And so it is one tablespoon, and um, it makes the perfect amount for my cookie. Oh, you can't see. Oh, for my cookies here. So let's see if we can put this down a little bit so you can see. All right. But so you're just going to um, take it, and it'll make about 24 five um, of these cookies. I guess they're not really cookies, more of like a biscuit, but um, we'll call it a sweet biscuit, right? Because it has the chocolate chips in there. Now I did use um, semi-sweet semi chocolate chips, but if you wanna use milk chocolate, or if you wanna use dark chocolate, if you wanna use white, I mean, whatever it is that you like the best, um, you can obviously use those. And so when you're doing this, and you're making this kind of dough, <laughs> this dough does not move. So it does not matter how close you have your cookies together on your baking sheet, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up in a little bit, but um, just to give you an idea on how great, look at that, look at how awesome. And so this actually was made for macaroons. And so that's what those little circles are. But if I wanted to, I could probably just go on top of each of those circles and then I would be um, a good space apart, right? <laughs> but that's okay. So then you're gonna bake these at 375 for just 12 minutes, um, maybe 15, depending on your, um, your oven. And then when you're done, all right, I got some I already made and this is how they turn out. Um, and they just like the shape. And so my, my little guy, my littlest one, so my kids are five, 11 and 13 and my five-year-old um, helped me make these. Now, um, I, he doesn't actually like them though. He would take a bite of them. And so we made three batches and he took, he would say, can I have one? And I said, yeah, go ahead. Out of each batch. And he would take one little bite out of each batch and then, or out of one cookie from each batch and say, I don't like it, mom. And so then he would give it to me. So then I would eat it, but I'm just like, all right, that's fine. More for me, right? No, because my other two like them. So it is a nice treat. Um, it's semi-healthy, right? Because it has the pumpkin and it has semi-sweet chocolate chips. And um, it's only one point if you do Weight Watchers for it. So and then you're going to store it in your clearly elegant bowl. It's super pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, Pam, back to you. All right. Thank you.
And so I wanted to show you what the finished product of this gift looks like when you wrap it then in the clear cellophane. Uh, this is a bag and not this shrink wrap. I like it better in a bag. Um, and I put the bow on top of it that matches his little uh, scarf. I have seen people take it and put a little Santa hat on it instead of wrapping it. But then these little guys don't stick together. And so they're all over the place. So this is a really cute idea. It's got the candy cane, uh, it, the little men in there, and then the hot chocolate mix and the marshmallows. So it's a nice gift for somebody you really like. Um, and so it's a fun thing. Uh, then another idea that's really fun for a gift is our canister set. I love this set. This is such a pretty color. And I just think that they're really um, very, very nice. You can take these and use these separate. And so you could give the big one to somebody you like a lot with homemade cookies in it or homemade caramel corn, homemade um, you know, fudges. We're gonna make a fudge in a little bit, a really quick and easy fudge. Um, you could make, give the middle one to another person and somebody you don't like at all, but you have to give them something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just love saying that. No, uh, but of course, tell family you love a lot. You might give it all to them with, you know, chocolate chip cookies, peanut butter cookies and fudge in there. Put a beautiful bow on top of it and um, wrap it up with beautiful bag on, you know, clear bag on there. Oh, it's just so pretty. And then I also love this. And I type this and, you know, this would be perfect for the bus driver. They have to get out in the morning and leave early. This sleeve that has the ornaments on it comes off. And so they can use this all year long and it would just be a beautiful puffy mug that would be aqua in color. It's a really pretty color and it wouldn't have the ornaments on it. And then they could slide the ornaments up on there for the holiday season. So it's really quite festive and fun. And so beautiful gift giving from Tupperware. Why not show you really care? Give the gift to Tupperware. Yeah, I made that up. <laughs> You're like, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so let's talk about our fun product that we're gonna share with you. Now I will share with you, you think to yourself, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'd spend $200 on that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I would, but I will share with you, the best way to get your Tupperware is free, <laughs> all right? And so I want to share with you, you can get it free, you can get it half price, uh, you can get it however you want to get it. But I want to tell you, I love to have you be our host and get your Tupperware for free or half price. And so um, Tupperware always gives you options. And so you can buy it for uh, $199 or you can get it for free or half price, or you can join our team this month and you can get it at a really, 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 really good price. All right. And so I want to show you something I absolutely love in my home and it is our grill for the microwave. And you're like, what? A grill for the microwave. <laughs> and it is phenomenal. And if you can give me a plate so I can put this, uh, I made a real quick, I just made a grilled cheese sandwich just because I needed to make something to heat my microwave, heat my grill up, uh, because I'm going to show you how I made the cake in the microwave. And so um, real fast, I just wanted to pull this out and I only did it one side because I wanted to show you what it would do and before I pulled it out and put it in on the other side. And so I um, put this in the microwave for just um, two minutes to heat the grill. And I'm gonna put it back in and put it in for another two minutes to heat my grill. And um, see my, so two more minutes to heat that grill. And um, what's really cool is there's scepters on all four corners on the top and on the bottom. And so as those scepters heat, they um, actually make the metal hot and the metal cooks your food. So the microwaves are not cooking my food at all. The metal is actually cooking my food because the metal gets so hot. And so the metal in the microwave is coated with, um, with the, uh, the silicone and the silicone keeps it from arcing inside of the microwave and protects your microwave, protects your food, and it keeps from the microwaves ever touching your food in the microwave. Then I have this silicone ring that I'm also going to use in order to make my cake. And so it actually creates an oven inside of that um, grill. And so you can make chicken breast in the grill. You can make a steak in the grill. You can make a uh, batata in the grill. You can make a quiche in the grill. Uh, you can make all kinds of really cool stuff in this grill in the microwave. So where would this be practical? Well, 
you know, in the wintertime when you don't want to go outside in the snow, because I live in Hello, Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, going outside and turning on the grill, by the time I get the grill hot, I actually could have made uh, my steak inside my grill, because all I have to do is heat my grill for four minutes with a piece of toast or a cracker or a piece of grilled cheese sandwich or whatever I want to do, uh, just real quickly heat it in the grill um, in my microwave, and it takes me 15 minutes to heat it in the outside. So by the time I heat it outside, I could have had the grit, the steak done. Uh, chicken breast inside of this grill would take me five minutes on each side, and that's if it's frozen. And so you can take a frozen chicken breast, coat it with your favorite seasoning, and um, go ahead and put it in here and put five minutes on each side, and it's going to become out completely cooked all the way through and juicy, very, 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 very juicy. Okay, and so this is going to be, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, toasted. See how toasted that is? Gorgeous toasted sandwich. On both sides, you have a gorgeous, toasted, yummy sandwich. Now, I got melted cheese inside my grill, <laughs> so I've got to clean it out because it overflowed. I put two pieces of cheese in there because I was hoping my mom, who is 90 years old in the other room, might have a little snack before she goes to bed, and I thought a little extra protein wouldn't be bad for her. So, if I can get a little piece of paper towel to clean that out. Well, it's okay. We can use that. Microfiber. A lot of paper towel here. That's perfect. Okay, so my grill is nice and hot now. Now I've made a cake um, that I actually um, use one of my large mixing bowls to make it in, and I can post the recipe for you. I really like this cake recipe inside of here because it has pudding in the mix, and so it's a white cake mix. It's four eggs. It is sour, one cup of sour cream, and it is um, uh, uh, let's see, it's um putting in the mix one cup of sour cream and four eggs. And so um, I really like this cake mix because it is um, really easy to, uh, I need a cup, I'm sorry. It's uh, really easy to um, make this recipe and um, it rises really nicely inside of here. And it's very, very, very moist. One of the things that about this, this whole idea of this grill is it doesn't dry out your food because the microwaves don't touch your food. And so your microwave does not dry out your food. And um, that is the thing that really, you know, one thing I love about being in my own kitchen <laughs> is having lots and lots and lots of spatulas. Now I might have a spatula of every color and every shape from Tupperware, but I have a lot of spatulas. I, I have a spatula fetish. <laughs> and so and I have a lot of measuring cups too, by the way. Every color, I've been in Tupperware for a lot of years. So I have lots of colors of measuring cups and lots of colors of, of spatulas. All right, so here we go. And so I put exactly one cup inside of there. And so it comes out exactly one cup. Now the silicone circle um, right now is uh, $20 and the grill is 199. If you join our team right now, and um, you have a, a grand opening or your first party and your first party is over $500, you get this grill and the ring, which is uh, 200 and I think it's $219 value. You get it for $45. I know that's crazy. Awesome deal. All right. And so you get all of that for $245. I'm going to put this in and we're going to sit back and talk about some of our other gifts here. And Jenny's going to make a real quick um, meal. And this takes, I put this in for four minutes and 45 seconds. And you're going to test your microwave. Okay. So I, my microwave is four minutes and 45 seconds. However, um, when I'm in Georgia and I'm at my daughter-in-law's home, it takes, it takes about five minutes and 45 seconds, okay? So every microwave and the wattages of microwaves are a little bit different. So you're gonna test your microwave and you, you can undercook it. 
but you don't want to overcook it, all right? So if you undercook it and you pull it out and you peek at it, if it's not, you know, a little bit uh, brown on the top, then you know, maybe not quite done. And so you want to put the lid back on it and just put it back in for another minute. And so it takes exactly one cup of batter though inside of there. And so I'm going to post the recipe. You're going to love it. But I want to show you the done cake. And so I told you I made it red, white, and blue. I just used the, uh, the, color, the color food coloring. And I use the, oh, by the way, I love our cake taker from Tupperware because what happens is when you take this off, if you don't know what this does, this has these little sleeves that slide up and down. When I slide this up, I slide it up on both sides. I squeeze in. And when I squeeze in, it unlocks it. And so I don't ever have to worry if I've got this locked in place of that handle coming off. That's not going to come off. And when I open it and slide it up and I squeeze in, I can take that off. And then it is going to be a beautiful serving tray for my cake. And then I can easily pull out my chef knife, which I love our knives from Tupperware. If you notice our chef knife, it always has a sleeve in it. So it's always going to keep it nice and sharp for me. And I don't know whether mom's going to want the grilled cheese sandwich or a piece of cake and ice cream before bed. But <laughs> my, uh, I love the business because, you know, when I was young and I started the Tupperware business, I started the business because the kids were young and I wanted to be able to stay at home and take care of the kids. And I didn't want to have to work the nine to five job around Jimmy's job. He's a police officer. He worked three to 11, 11, seven, seven to three. And um, he changed his schedule every three weeks. And it was really hard on me to try to find a job where I could change my schedule every three weeks around his schedule. And there were some times if I was going to work a nine to five job, that the kids wouldn't see either one of us. And so the daycare would see the kids. <laughs> and so it made sense to me to try to find a job that I could, I could switch myself. And so Tupperware allowed me to do that. And now today I'm allowed to take care of my mother in my home and not have to worry about having to have her in a home. And that's a privilege that I find again with the Tupperware business. Okay, so now we're gonna cut it. Are you ready? So it's red, white, and blue. And where's that serving plate I had? Oh, I gave it away with the cake. Let me get that serving plate out again. I love our Tupperware plates. They're lightweight. Never have to worry about mom having something too heavy for her. Didn't have to worry about the kids having something too heavy for them either. And so now we have our red, white, and blue cake for Veterans Day. Isn't that pretty? And now you can see when I turn this, the red, white, and blue. And we use that with the um, food coloring. Now, not the regular food coloring, but the food coloring paste. And so that makes it really simple and easy. And that is so moist because you make it in the microwave and it doesn't dry it out at all because the microwaves don't touch your cake. It's done in that little oven inside that grill. And whether it's the quiche or whether it's the souffle or whether you make your potato or casserole in there, with that silicone ring, it makes that little oven in there. It's so good. Or if you're making a grill and you make a steak, or if you're making it, using it as a grill and you're doing cheesy potatoes. Oh, you know what I did in there? It was so delicious. I did um, uh, a gratin uh, potatoes in there that were so good. But then I also did uh, uh, fundita. Have you ever made fundita? It's where you, uh, you take the uh, Teresa sausage and we grilled the Teresa sausage, and then we took the uh, the uh, the cheese, the Mexican cheese, and we I went ahead and bought the Mexican cheese dip, and I mixed it with the Teresa sausage, and I put it in the grill, and it was so easy to pull it out and pop it back in and reheat it. Oh, it was so delicious because as the family and friends were eating it, and it got a little cool on us, we could just pop it back in there and heat it back up real quick and easy. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Okay, let's do a trivia question. Oh, you're going to love this. Speaking of delicious cake, how many calories on the average are consumed per person on Thanksgiving dinner? How many calories <laughs> on the average are consumed per person on Thanksgiving dinner? Go ahead and put that in the comments. You know, I heard that when you're a chef and you don't taste what you just made, that is a sign that it's probably not good. So I got to make sure I try it. Mm. So good. Just to prove to you, it's good. I love self sacrifice. <laughs> um, self sacrifice, right? If you go try to 
spit it oh, off camera. Oh, yeah. I heard Giada spits it off okay. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right. Anybody come up with a question? Not even close. Not, not even, even close. close. <laughs> Do they need to go up? Yeah, they need to go up. <laughs> You're going to be like, I'm not eating on Thanksgiving Day. You're going to be like, that's it. I'm not eating. All right. How many calories? <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Oh, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. All right. All right. Some other cute gift ideas. Look how this cute this is. I like this with the can of soup. But honestly, a lot of times what I do with my mugs, our little soup mugs, is I take this soup mug and I fill it with kisses. And I give it to teachers and say it's mugs and kisses because they're such great teachers. Mugs and kisses for the best teacher award. And then this is also so cute for a family and of course it's a great big salad set but <laughs> look at that filled with your homemade caramel corns and cheese corns so pretty and it gorgeous i love our clear bowls that look like somebody get really close no somebody got dessert oh. <laughs> <laughs> dessert that's good <laughs> i love this with the caramel corn and cheese corns it's so pretty uh, and this is so nice because it's the glass the bowls are made to look like glass and they really do you can see i'm using one here they do look like glass and they're so, so nice in the kitchen. I use these for my, um, my salad center and I pull it out. Of course, the big bowl is practical, practical. These little guys all the time, <laughs> I use them for my cut up fruits and vegetables, but mainly my vegetables that I use for my salad center and also for my omelet center. So I constantly pull out those same vegetables that I'm constantly using for um, my omelet center. Oh, by the way, if you notice, we've been using this a lot tonight. This is your silicone from Tupperware. It is so practical and easy to use. You saw, you saw um, Amy use it, and I'm going to use it right now to turn my cake out on because once you turn your cake out on that, it's easy to pick it up and move it off of there. Cookies come right off of it. And as I pull my cake out off of this, and yeah, you can pull this out of the microwave. It's warm to the touch, but it's not going to hurt you. Oh, thanks. She's going off camera to eat my cake. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, that's a little hot. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Isn't that pretty? And so you can see that is brown to the top, to the top, and it's a little bit warm right now. So I could do it two ways. I can do it this way. And just literally flip it over like that, pop it out. Oh, my ring came out, but my cake didn't come out yet. <laughs> See, my ring came right out. Ooh, it's hot, a little warm yet. And so, my spatula. Look at all these amazing kitchen tools. This is so fun having all these tools. You need them all. They're so reasonably priced and they're so practical to have them all. And they never hurt my cook, my, my, uh, you tip my cookware. They never hurt my, uh, my product line. I love them all. Love all my kitchen tools. I think I used my spatula. Oh, this one will help me. Is this one even in our line anymore? Mm -hmm. No. You got to buy it. You got to pay attention. And right now, if you're talking to your Tupperware rep, you need to go online and look underneath uh, sales specials because there's a whole bunch of stuff that Tupperware is doing, year in clearancing, and they've got all of these amazing specials on. So before you close out your order, go on there and look. They've got all kinds of specials going on, like 40% off and 20% off all these extra stuff that's not even in our line right now. So go look at that before you close out your order. All right, let's try this one more time. Yes, it is. There it came. <laughs> there it came. Yeah. Okay. There it is. It is warm. Warm to the touch. Hot. It is hot. Hot, hot, hot. See if I wasn't on air, I probably would have given a few minutes to cool, but I wanted to show you how it comes out. And then this will come right off of here. I can pick that up already. See that? The silicone stuff is amazing. All right, guys, there you have it. This grill is awesome. You're going to want it, love it. 
And this keg is so moist, you're gonna love it. All right, we're gonna turn it back to Amy. She's gonna show you the kit. And then right back here to Jenny, she's gonna show you the fudge. Is she ready for the kit? Um, yep, I'm ready. Okay, thank you, Amy. You're welcome. So um, after you know you clean up, you want you need a good towel. And let me just tell you, this kit is um, one of the most, it's the best. It's the best deal that we have, honestly. I absolutely love everything. It has a little bit of everything for you. Um, and um, including these towels, which these are our microfiber towels. And, oh, I just got some chocolate on my finger. Whoops, I got my cookies out of the oven. And I picked one up and I was gonna eat it and I decided not to yet. But um, anyway, these hold two cups of water. And so they're great for drying off all of your dishes. Um, and the kiddos can use it too. And you, they can actually dry the dishes, like actually it gets all that water, which is awesome. And like I was telling you before, our modromates, this is one of um, our smaller ones. So this one is actually an oval too. Um, they all have different sizes. Uh, and so they go by numbers. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four of the ovals and a five, I believe as well. But the oval two comes in here. And right now I have some candies in here, um, red, some red hots. Um, these are great. I actually like to use our cold brew. If you don't know about the cold brew, you need to ask your consultant about that. But um, these candies are great and they are still fresh, even though I have had these probably for three years, but I don't use them that much um, but they're they're so nice and hard and they don't uh they don't like get sticky and stick together you know how sometimes candy does that ew it doesn't do that in these which is amazing um and of course we have our measuring cups and measuring spoons and we've been using those uh a little bit tonight you saw me use the, the bigger cup now these are also good for liquids or for dries and uh because they do have the little pour spouts um, and we were in, um, gosh, I forget which magazine it was, like, um, like Better Home and Garden or something like that. But anyway, um, for having one of the most precise in measuring cups and measuring spoons. Plus, there are two extras in each of them. So not only do you have um, the regular quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, but you also have half a tablespoon. Um, which is nice for when you are halving a recipe or maybe doubling a recipe, right? And an eighth of a teaspoon. You know, when you have like your grandma's recipe and it's calling for a pinch of this and a pinch of that, a pinch is one eighth of a teaspoon, which you have it here with this. Um, and that is amazing. I love it. Um, you don't have to guess, especially for those of you that maybe don't bake all the time or cook all the time. You're like, I don't know what a pinch is. No, a pinch is an eighth of a teaspoon. And our cups, they have two extra as well, which is the two thirds of a cup and three quarters of a cup. So there again, when you are um, halving a recipe or doubling a recipe, sometimes those extra cups come in handy. And of course we have our Wonderlier bowls. This set of bowls is the most popular set of bowls. And it is the first set of bowls that Tupperware came out with. Um, and so they have been around for eons, right? And um, they've been many different colors, including an ugly clear, or it's not really even clear. It's just like a white plastic. Um, and I know this because I have one of those bowls that belonged to my great grandma a long, long time ago. All right. So, um, and um, we also have water bottles always on the go. So I'm always on the go. So I'm always having my water bottle with me. And if it's not a water bottle, and my kiddos as well always have these our drinks. I'm like, where's your water bottle? Do you have your water bottle? You gotta take your water bottle, right? Um, because they're always like, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. So snacks too are great. And these modular mates, I keep snacks in my car at all times for my kids. It doesn't matter if you go to, out to lunch, as soon as you get in the car, I'm hungry. Why? We just left to lunch. I don't understand it. I'll never understand it, but it's a true story, right? Who can agree with me? <laughs> Does it happen to you? Um, if you have kids, I'm sure it has. So we also have our eco to go cup and the straw. Now this straw is two different pieces. 
Okay, so you can have it short or you can have it long with the extender and you're probably like, what is going on with that thing on the top, right? Look at that. So that is so that when you're driving down the car or driving down the road and you're drinking, you don't have to worry about like if you stab yourself because you're not gonna stab yourself with this and it is made to, um, to be um, safe for while driving. All right, so, and this comes off. Um, and um, I have many people who tell me that their coffees stay hot all day. I'm like, that is amazing. All right, so, or their teas, whatever you put hot in here stays hot, whatever you put cold in here stays cold. Now, it's not like our flask, but for like 24 hours, but it still stays nice and warm for your day, right? And of course, going back to our things for storage, um, we do have our silicone spatula set for storage, but it is very handy in the kitchen at all times. Just like Pam, I have several of these in my kitchen and we use them all, like all the time. So, but for storage, we have our freezer containers. Now, um, these are great. So if you notice on the bottom, it has a little curvature. So my girlfriend taught me that, or told me that it has that curvature so that when it's in the freezer, air can actually go up and around and all over. So it freezes everything in here evenly and um, it seals up on here. So when you, whatever you put in here, it has, still has condensation in it. It has like that moisture, that moisture is gonna stay inside. And when you open it up um, after you freeze, let's say you freeze berries and you put your berries in here and you open it up and there's crystals on top, you're like, what is that? Why are there crystals on here? Those crystals is that moisture trying to get out, but the Tupperware is keeping that moisture in there. So when you pull this out of your freezer, guess what, guys? Um, your your uh, fruit is gonna taste just like it did when you put it in there because um, it the moisture stayed in. And then the moisture went back into the, into the fruit when it uh, unfroze, all right, when it thawed out. So these are amazing. And I like, I like them for measuring out my meats as well. So uh, this pulls about two pounds of ground meat. So if you go to the butcher and you get um, like the big things of, of meat, uh, you can come home and then you can put them in your Tupperware and you don't have to worry about them getting freezer burn and they will stay in your freezer for months. I think it's like, I don't know, six to nine months. It might be longer than that. Um, so everything lasts a very long time. And our fridge smarts. These are for your refrigerator, right? Fridge smart. So it's smart and it keeps these vegetables and all your fruits and your herbs fresh anywhere from three to eight weeks longer than normal. And so Tupperware, they had these scientists come and they did all this research for us. We don't have to do the research because they already did it for us. And so on here, we have little pictures, all right? And this is not gonna scratch off. It's not gonna wash off. You don't have to worry about any of that because it is etched right into the material. And for all those fruits and vegetables that aren't on here, there is a little um, thingy that you can scan and it'll give you the whole entire list of fruits and vegetables and what they need to be stored at. So there's a half a moon, there's a full moon and there's a new moon and you just come up here. I recommend putting your slider on the opposite side of the picture. That way, when you look in here, so you have your head of lettuce, then um, you're going to have, make sure it's all the way on the opposite side of your head of lettuce. And if you have and your broccoli, then put that bad boy all the way down. It wants lots of air because it, it has lots of gases. So it needs to breathe um, extra, way more than your berries. And um, so that is all on here for you but it's super easy to use. And if you need help, um, then just ask your consultant. They will help you um, decipher what these are, all right? But this, this is a must have. It actually saves the average household about $1,200 a year. To me, that's a lot of money. That's money that I can use on my kiddos um, for school clothes. Well, probably all year round because you know they're always getting new clothes. But anyway. And you get our that's a bowl. This is the best bowl. This is my favorite bowl um, because I like them big. I like the handle. It's very easy to use. And it's very easy for me to guide my kiddos when they are helping me in the kitchen, stirring up our food. Plus it does come with the seal. So you don't have to worry about um, if you are 
uh, if you need to keep something fresh a little bit longer, keep it in the bowl, or just stick it in the, or in the microwave, put that bowl in the microwave, put it in the refrigerator and you can, it'll stay nice and fresh for you. All right. And um, speaking of microwave, we do have three products in here that go into the microwave, including our breakfast maker. This thing is amazing for making your breakfast. And so my 11 year old son, loves to make his own eggs. So he can make his own scrambled eggs in here. You can make French toast in here. You can make cinnamon rolls in here, all kinds of fun breakfast or um, poached eggs. You can do two perfectly poached eggs at one time. And I believe it's like 70 to 90 seconds and they are done. Um, I don't really do poached eggs. However, I do like sometimes every once in a while, I will do a three, two, one cake in here. If you need that recipe, then you need to get that from your um, your consultant. And so it's so easy and so yummy. And you just, um, it's like enough perfect for one person. And so mine is always a chocolate cake. And I make that, put that in here and I put it in the microwave and I have a cake for myself in just one minute. And it is amazing. And so yes, all of this is dishwasher safe too. And two more things, which are going in the microwave, which is our crystal wave containers. Um, this has the easy pop tab. Um, my husband likes to take these with him to work, but um, for those of you that it goes at 50 to 70%, okay? So never on high, you don't cook in that, you only reheat. This one you can cook on high. And I say this one is man proof. Um, they both have the stain guards so and either one of them will stain. So you can put the red sauce in either one of these, but I call these man proof because most of the time, men don't worry about how to set the microwave. They just throw something in there and cook it, right? And so they won't harm these. These are our vent inserts. And all you do is pull that little tab up and stick it in the microwave. You can even do your, um, push your leftovers in here. You can freeze them, pull them out of the freezer, and then put it straight into the microwave too. So these are um, able to go into your freezer and into your microwave. And the last thing that I is definitely not least, this is my most favorite thing. And this is our super sonic chopper system. And uh, you saw Jenny using our chopper earlier to chop up nuts. This is amazing for chopping up nuts, chopping up onions, chopping up carrots, um, anything, right? That you need chopped uh, super fast. And all you do is pull that cord, and for every pull, it is like 288, 288 chops by hand. Now tell me, would you rather chop by hand, or would you rather use this guy and make um, and chop up your ingredients? And so not only is it easy for us, but it's also easy for our kids. And so this is something that I was super, super excited about when we first came out with it because. Um, my kids can help me chop now, not just mixing. They want to chop, they want to help, you know? And so this they can do. Now, I don't let them touch these blades. They are crazy sharp. There's three stainless steel blades at three different heights and these ones are angled, all right? So they are going to emulsify everything that you put inside of here. Um, and this is the bigger chopper. Now, when you get the, chopping system, you are going to come with one motor. And so it's going to fit on the small one. And then it's also going to fit on the big one. All right. Just like that. Super easy. Plus it comes with a whip attachment and the funnel. Um, and just like um, the whipper, okay, comes with the funnel. So does this one. Um, and when you are done cleaning this, now we don't recommend putting the blades in the dishwasher because those are um, well, the, the dishwashers are harsh on blades. And so we just don't recommend it because it will dull your blades faster than what you would like. And on here, there's this little button. And so for cleaning purposes, you push that button in, all right? And then you turn it and this will come right off for you for cleaning. Super easy, right? And super fun. So you could uh, get all of this for one price, or you could, um, you know, for those of you hosting your party, you can definitely earn some of these products half off and for free, or you could just pay full price. Which one would you rather do? Would you rather play um, one small price, um, maybe get it for free or half off, or just pay full price? Let us know. But anyway, I hope that you had fun and learned something new and found something 
set you up. Thanks, Pam. Back to you. Okay, let's take it away. And we want to do another door prize. So what's our total number right now, Jessica, of people? Um, we have 57. 57. Okay. Let's find a random number between 1 and 57. Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 57. Two. <laughs> two. All right. Number two is Sue with Diane Smith. Congratulations. Sue with Diane Smith. You must have been an early bird tonight. Congratulations. Early bird gets the room. Sue gets the worm. Sue. So congratulations. And we also have a trivia question. Our trivia question is how many women were at the first Thanksgiving dinner? Well, that's a good question. How many women were at the first Thanksgiving dinner? Hmm. Who's going to Google that first? All right. It's not the first person that answers. It's just an interesting question. All right. And let's give it up for Jenny. She's going to teach you how to make really fast and easy fudge. Give it up, Jenny. Star director, Jenny Cheetah. So we're back to simple again, right? And are you convinced that Tupperware is not just a set of bowls anymore? We have seen so much stuff tonight. And one of the last things I want to show you is our stack cooker. This is an amazing product. It really, really is. I did not realize all the things that this did whenever I first saw it. You can do so many things in the microwave in this. You can make a meatloaf. You can do a three course dinner in 20 to 30 minutes. It is absolutely amazing. It has sections that does all kinds of things. There is a three quart casserole in the bottom that we're not gonna use right now. There is a one and three quart quart casserole that we are gonna use. There is a colander. Not great, which is why I am a great Tupperware person. There is, it's a cone that you can use to make some of the most amazing pineapple upside down bunt cakes. That, um, and it, this works for the meatloaf too. So you can like put this in the larger um, casserole, but it's a colander that you can use so that you can steam vegetables. You can put your hamburger ground beef in here and put it in the microwave and put it like down inside this. And this, it's a fun thing to do. And you brown your ground beef in here in the microwave. And when you take the ground beef out, you can see what I like to call ground beef sludge down in the bottom of this. It's really interesting to see what comes off of your ground beef whenever you fry your ground beef on a regular stove, okay? And then this is the top, this is three quarter quart. You can use this as a cover, you can, um, use it to make dips, you can use it for vegetables. But what we're gonna do today is make fudge. And this is like amazing. So this is the simplest fudge in the world. It is a cup and it's chocolate peanut butter fudge. So it is a cup of peanut butter chocolate chip, peanut butter chips and 12 ounces, which is half of a big bag of chocolate chips. Now, when you microwave chocolate or any kind of chips, you have to be careful because we're going to stick this in the microwave uncovered. And I'm going to put it in there for a minute. But when we pull it out, it's not really going to look like it's melted. And the thing that you would be really tempted to do would be just to hurry up and stick it back in there for another couple of minutes, maybe because it's not going to look melted. It's already started to melt. So you have to stir it up and see that it's starting to melt and then put it back in for just a little bit more time because you'll burn it. And burnt chocolate is not fun at all. So you have to watch it and do it just a little bit at a time so that you make sure that you don't burn that chocolate. But it's really, really easy to do and it's very simple to do in a microwave product. Doesn't take very long. And one of the things that you do with like this fudge, we're gonna do the silicone, okay? And we have different kinds of silicone. So we've got the big one that you've seen people use tonight. You saw Pam and Amy do the cookie sheet. We have this one with the edges. Um, we have a muffin pan that's silicone that's great for cupcakes or muffins with our scoops that come in the hostess set. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, see? That does not look like it did anything at all, right? But if we stir it, you can see that it started to melt on the bottom. So we're gonna stir it just a little bit. I'm gonna put it back in there for one more minute. When it comes out, we're not gonna to have to put it back in there right away. Now, 
I checked out Fudge, okay? I don't know if you've gone to buy Fudge, you can buy Fudge at the fair, they have Fudge stores, um, IX centers opening, and we're gonna be at the IX. So if you live in a Cleveland area, you wanna come to the IX center in a couple weeks, find us, okay? Um, and tell us that you saw us on here. But if you go to buy Fudge, do you know that Fudge sells for anywhere from seven to $20 a pound, depending on where you buy it, who you buy it from? That's some crazy stuff. So if you're gonna make Fudge, now, granted, they probably make it a little different than microwaving it, but fudge is fudge and it tastes good, right? And you saw those canisters that we have. You could make fudge like this and fill it in those, fill those canisters with it, give it to somebody as a gift. They would love it. And there are so many recipes for fudge, even with this frosting fudge, because the only other thing we're going to do is add a can of frosting. Now, when I went to the store today, Yeah, two cans of frosting for $3 and two bags of chocolate chips for $5. That's $8. Look at that. See, two minutes in the microwave and it's melted, okay? It is completely melted. It didn't look melted when it came out, but it's melted. Now we're going to add this can of frosting. And again, these spatulas are a lifesaver. So we're going to take this frosting. That you can use and if you will google while you're go while you're googling things like how many women were at the first thanksgiving dinner and i know the answer to that and i'm not sure how anybody ate um but if you will google frosting fudge recipes you can make peppermint frosting you can make funfetti frosting you can make all kinds of fudge with frosting so you just stir this up Okay, and we're just going to put it in this silicone sheet right here. And once we spread it out, you put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and let it get hard. And then do the magic of, I made some earlier. I'm going to show you how simple it is take it out of here once it gets hard, okay? So it's very easy to spread out. And you can make it pretty and you can put some nuts on top or maybe some sprinkles. If you make it with um, vanilla frosting, you can add food coloring, you can add Christmas sprinkles, or you know, if it's Easter time, you can add pastel sprinkles. You can do this any way you want to. And that's the beauty of it is when you're making things like this, you can do it your way. You can do anything you want, okay? So I'm going to take this and move it over here. Honestly, if we move one more thing over here on this counter today, we're going to need another counter. Now, here <laughs> is the fudge I made earlier, okay? In there? Now watch this. It's just going to come right out of there. Look, no problem. All we have to do is find a place to put it, right? And we're going to cut it. Again with the chef's knife. And you just take it and you can cut it any size piece you want. Great gifts for people, okay? They go, you can cut any size you want. So if you're going to put it in a little container, you can cut smaller pieces. If you're going to put it in a big container, you can cut bigger pieces. Seven to $20 a pound at the store, guys. You don't need to pay that. You can make this fudge. Your kids can make this fudge and feel like they've made it for their teacher or their friends, Sunday school teachers, you know, anybody that coaches, anybody that they want to give a gift to. This is so easy. So, you know, let the kids have some fun. Let them make it. It's great stuff. Just taste it. I'm supposed to taste it? Oh, that's a shame. I can taste the corn piece. Oh. Maybe I should taste this corn piece, make sure it tastes the same. <laughs> All right. More gift ideas. Did you see Santa? 
and the snowman inside our Tupperware catalog inside the if you're online or if you're in the catalog they are so stinking cute they have the little snowman and he is so cute with the baby blue seal baby blue lid I love him he is adorable he or she it might be a girl I think it's a boy uh, but I've got on here a uh, little mini marshmallows inside of here. And it says, you've been naughty. Here's the scoop. All you're getting is snowman poop. Isn't that funny? With the little mini marshmallows. And here is, um, you fill this one filled with uh, magical reindeer food. And you put in here, sprinkle this mix on the lawn tonight. The moon will make it sparkle bright. And Santa's reindeer fly high. We'll see the food and drop on by. And so you put the reindeer food in here and you can make homemade reindeer food and give it to your favorite little people and they will know to sprinkle it on the lawn and then they get to drink from their Santa bottle all day on Christmas day. And so it's something you can give it to them early or you can give it to them or you can actually put um, reindeer poop inside of this and reindeer poop is M&Ms. All right, and so I have these pre-made tags. And so you can talk to your Tupperware lady. She can get those for you off of our uh, uh, Tupperware team page. And so if you'd like to get those for maybe a whole classroom, or if you'd like to get those for all your grandkids or all your kids, uh, we have the pre-made tags ready to go for you. And um, they're free, the tags are free. They're free printables that you can get from us and you're ready and set, all right? So how many women were at the first Thanksgiving dinner? Um, they got all around it. Oh, they got all around it. There were five. How did they eat? There must have been only five men. <laughs> because I can't imagine there were five, uh, if there was any food there. If there was only five women. All right. And so let's have a random number between one and how many, Jessica? Um, 59. 59 now. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's have one random number between one, one and 59. Alexa, give me a random number between one and 59. Random number between one and 59. It's 58. 58. Awesome. Let's see here. It is Ellie with Diane Smith. Ellie with Diane Smith, you're a lucky winner. All right. So Ellie, uh, Diane's first customer to get on and last customer to get on probably. All right. And so now we are going to find out who our lucky um, winner is amongst all of our guests. And uh, so we're going to have a guest winner and we're going to have a host winner. How many grand hosts do we have on tonight? Um, 20. 20 hosts on tonight. Excellent. That is so fun. And so uh, we have 20 hosts on. That means we have 39 guests on totally. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so out of all of our guests on, I just do want to thank you for being on. I want to remind you that our best deal we have is for you to join our team. If you're looking over and you decide you'd like to join our team, I want to remind you that um, you saw our kit this evening. And then um, if you join to this month of the month of November, the bonus gift for joining is um, the gift of uh, the, um, the extra mix, uh, power mix that's so much fun. And this is $15. It's normally 55. And, um, that is an extra gift when you place your first $40 orders in with $500 starter party or your first order of $500 before the 24th of November as well. Um, you do get the grill, which is 219. Uh, you get it for 45, 55, 55. How much is it? Oh, it's someplace around there. <laughs> we never said less than 219. Yeah, <laughs> it's less than 219, that's for sure. All right. <laughs> However, the host is the most, and she gets all of this, and that's what's really cool. If you'd like to join us on Thursday night, we do our team meeting, and that is so much fun. Tell your Tupperware rep, you just want to check out the team meeting and see what that's like. We never put pressure on you at any time. You can always check us out another time next Tuesday. We do a cooking class just like this again. Be a host with us again. We love having you around. So hang out with us another time. And you know what's really, really fun about this business is we are a company of friends. And so this is uh, actually brought on to you by Champion Enterprises. And it costs you nothing to be part of this tonight. Even when you're a Tupperware rep, all the gifts we give away tonight are free for our Salesforce members to give to their guests and their, and their uh, hostesses that win. And so let's get a, uh, a random number. Alexis, give us a random number between 1 and 39. 
Hey, Alexa, give me a random number between one and 39. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine is Denise with Jerry Horn. Congratulations. Oh, yay, Jerry Horn, you had a winner. All right, <laughs> Denise, you are a lucky winner. Congratulations. Welcome and congratulations for winning tonight. And now our host, now the host winner is always a little bigger of a prize. We're excited for you. Congratulations on winning. And uh, make sure all of our Tupperware reps that you get us these addresses back right away. We like them to be to us within 24 hours. And so our guests don't have to wait long for their gifts to come to them. And so make sure they come to Pamela Matheny Clift on Messenger. And so it always makes it so much easier for me to have them in one place within 24 hours, please. Please and thank you, all right? All right, and so uh, Alexa, give us one random number between one and 20. Pick a number between one and 20, it's 16. 15 is our lucky winner. Oh, 16, I'm sorry, 16 is our lucky winner. 16, okay, number 16 is Joyce with Don Jamison. Don Jameson, you are so lucky all the time winning. Congratulations, Joyce. You are with the host that wins the most, I'm telling you. Congratulations. And I'm so happy for you, Don uh, Jameson. You, we love seeing you win again. And Joyce, congratulations to you for winning with uh, Don tonight. And thank you, everybody, for being with us this evening. I hope to see you again next week on Cookie with Champions. Thank you. Bye-bye.